Hi there, South Florida. Good morning. A live view out of Fort Lauderdale and there is a blanket of clouds over us all across South Florida and Southern Florida as a secondary front makes its way through the area. We'll get to that in just a second. Meanwhile, it's currently 63 degrees in Fort Lauderdale, 67 in Miami, 70 degrees in Marathon and Key West. The winds picking up speed now 15 to 18 miles per hour out of the northwest. So it is becoming breezy and it's going to stay breezy throughout today and it's a cold wind. Now as far as rainfall goes, very light drizzles are expected right now. Light drizzle starting to enter the west end of Broward. So areas like Coral Springs, Sunrise, Tamarack and even west and southwest ranches. You'll probably get just a few raindrops on your way to school or work and over the keys, the showers quickly dissipating and breaking apart, but there's still a lot of cloud cover and it's associated with that second cold front. The first one brought us a heavy downpour yesterday is to the south of us and pushing to the south and east over the Bahamas. Then here's that secondary front that's pushing through Lake Okeechobee and entering our area right now. It is attached to low pressure system spinning over New England and bringing in some heavy snow on the backside, the western side of the low over western New York, western PA and even some snow showers down into the Smokies as well. But heavy rain offshore over New England is going to cause some travel delays into Boston or out of Boston. Cold air funneling in behind this front and in the water vapor imagery you could see where the front is and look at that dry air well defined behind that front. That's going to help to push the clouds to the south of us. So clearing from north to south this afternoon by this evening still cloudy for the keys and then clear skies by tonight. Highs today only 69 degrees. So take the sweaters with you. We're going to need them later on this afternoon and tonight. Small craft advisory is in effect the bays at a moderate chop and the seas are building five to seven feet. Now tonight we're dropping into the 40s and this forecast lasting through the weekend.